I asked God a question years ago. I said, God, how come these charismatic people are always quoting the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous? I said, God, why? Why do we quote that? He said, go and read it. I went and read it. And the verse doesn't end there. It says, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous, and a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. You ain't leaving nothing to your grandchildren right now. And you're born again. you just barely living up your retirement. You are useless. You, you, you failed God. Your grandkids have nothing from you that will last. They don't want your clothing. That's not inheritance. Now here you are singing, worshiping, and you disobey God. You're not leaving an inheritance to your children's children. And I said, God, what's wrong? He said, read it again. And I read it again. It says, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children and I never saw it before until that day God says see first of all he says who did I tell you have the wealth I said the wicked he says good he says how do you know that I know they have it I said I don't know I was ashamed he says I gave it to them he said, have you ever wondered why I gave it to them? Because I only give resources to those who can manage. Management is so serious to God that he'd rather give it to the wicked to protect it from you holy mismanagers. And do you know what we do? We lazy people, we try to claim it out of their hand. That's why we're broke. I claim. Claim what? You've been claiming for the last five years and you're still broke. And the wicked still get it. Why? Because you don't get it by claiming, you get it by attracting it through management. You know what God says? Jesus did a seminar on management. It's found in Luke chapter 16. Write that down, Luke 16. Read that when you go home. It's a seminar on management. Jesus said, look, there was a man who had a manager. This is how he starts the story. And his boss had given him management over his whole resources, his company. And the, mis the manager mismanaged the, 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 the goods. He's telling a story about creation. And when the man came back and he says, Shh, give an account of your management, he realized that the man had mismanaged. And the scripture says, and he said to him, you will be manager no longer. In other words, God fires people. Luke chapter 16, read it yourself. Then he says, this manager realized he was about to lose his job and so he went out and he began to organize management again to get the creditors to pay the company of his boss he began to get money back that the company had out and when he did that the man came back and says you are a wise manager the word is shrewd skillful you've gotten back into management therefore I commend you next verse Jesus said therefore the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. Can I read the next verse? Therefore, go and make friends with the world. Now, you've been taught the opposite by your church. You've been taught stay away from them. Christ says go and make friends with them. Why? They know how to manage. Go and learn how they manage. They are more successful in using my principles than you are, and that's why you are hired by them. You work for wicked people. You claim your God is good, and you're hired by the wicked. You are confused. And there we are. And then he made these statements. Go and make friends with them, so that in this world you will gain wealth, and also in the next world. Next verse. For he who is faithful over little, I will make him ruler over much. He said, don't pray for much. Just manage the little well first. God will never give you a million dollars. Never. He'll give you ten dollars. And then he'll say, give me one. And you can't give him one. He goes on to say this in the same chapter. He says, he who is unfaithful in little will be unfaithful in much. If you can't manage a hundred bucks, don't you dare pray for a hundred thousand dollars. All this confession stuff we're talking about don't make no sense to God. I claim this. You claim what? You can't even manage your own bedroom. It's a mess. You're asking God for your own company and you can't even go to people's job on time. It's bad management. 
Can I quote another verse from Luke, Luke 16? He says, if you are not able to manage other people's wealth, who will give you wealth of your own? Words of Jesus. That's why God will never give you a business first. He'll always give you a job first. Because he wants to watch how you manage other people's property before he trusts you with property of your own.